Hey broskies, it's Sona. Welcome back to another video. Oh god, I just realized my intro sounded really generic and unoriginal. Like this video if you think I'm unoriginal. Today, we're going to be talking about a game on Roblox called My Restaurant. Now, if you didn't know already, My Restaurant is basically kind of like a tycoon slash simulator game on Roblox where you build your own restaurant, you serve customers, you can hire chefs and waiters, etc. And yeah, the concept is pretty simple. The game was extremely popular for a while, being one of the very first games games that you would see on the front page of the game tab on Roblox, and it had a tremendous amount of players. But it also received a tremendous amount of hate as well. If you guys didn't know, there is a very uh, classic game on Roblox called Restaurant Tycoon, where you initially do the same thing, basically. You know, you build your own restaurant, you serve customers, and yeah, you, that's basically what you do. And a lot of people have said that because they're so similar, uh, my restaurant is basically copying restaurant tycoon. However, a lot of people still played it regardless. It was really popular for a while, but eventually the popularity kind of died out quite a bit compared to before, and now it is no longer even on the front page. And some people may be thinking, Sona, this game isn't even relevant anymore. No one cares about this game anymore. Why are you making a video on this? Well, my broskies, I am not making a video on this game because it is a copy of Restaurant Tycoon, but I am making a video on this game because of the updates. It's been getting. So a lot of people have been calling this game very pay to win and I can honestly understand why. You know at first people were calling this game pay to win and stuff but compared to before it is definitely way more pay to win now than it used to be to the point where to be honest I kind of think it's pretty unfair to the new players. So the first thing that I'm going to be talking about is quests. So in this game you can do side things such as quests in order to earn a little bit of extra money. First First, it starts out as things like buy three plants or, or buy a dishwasher. And the more quests you do, the harder it is to do those quests, obviously. Eventually, you will get a quest where it says to get a VIP customer or a question mark customer, both of those being the rarest customers you could get. Uh, luckily, you don't get these quests that often because, you know, they're so hard to accomplish. But the thing that I don't like about it is that it's nearly completely based upon luck. And the only way that it's not based upon luck is if you get the royal set or the pyramid, which are both expensive. So yeah, unless you have those two things, chances are you're going to be stuck on that quest for quite a while. Which brings me to the next thing that I'm going to be talking about in this video. I'm going to be talking about the royal set and the pyramid. The royal set is a gold-themed table and chairs that have a chance of spawning a VIP customer into your restaurant. And obviously, everyone would want this item because VIP customers are really hard to get and they're solely based upon luck. So naturally, a lot of people who really love this game and wanted to get more VIP customers into the restaurant saved up uh, quite a while for these items. And big games decided to do something that would make a lot of people really, really angry. Out of nowhere, they decided to make these items limited. Similar to regular Roblox limited items, once all of the limiteds are sold out, you can no longer get them unless you want to buy them in the marketplace, which is insanely expensive, or with Robux, which uh, isn't cheap. So yeah, a lot of people People got really really mad at this and I can completely understand why. Like imagine you're saving up for something that you want really bad then only to learn that you can no longer get it because the company decided to make it limited and only people with like money can get it. So it was basically a slap in the face to anyone who wasn't rich in the game. The chairs were 1.5 million cash and the table was 4.5 million cash and to the players who already grinded a lot and had a lot of money that didn't really seem like a lot but looking at it from a new player perspective it seems nearly impossible possible to get, unless you grind for a while like everyone else does. I also just want to quickly mention that the royal set is nearly 5,000 Robux, and if you convert that to US dollars, that is $50 for a table and some chairs. Oh, but that's not all. They tried to make it look cheap by saying that the original value is nearly 50,000 Robux worth. 50,000 Robux. Do you want to know how much that is in real life dollars? Guys, 50,000 Robux? is 500 US dollars. That is literally insane. How is a virtual table and chairs worth that much of real life money? Okay, that's that's literally ridiculous. Like what? 
I mean, you know, I'm really happy that they didn't make it that price, so it's actually somewhat affordable, but like, in my personal opinion, $50 for a virtual game set is like a lot. It's literally like they're saying, hey guys, this may be $50 and not affordable for any of you, but just be grateful we didn't make it $500 because that's totally what it should be worth. Guys, I'm gonna let you in on a little something that I did a while back. I bought the mansion game pass and work at a pizza place. I bought an entire mansion and it was still cheaper than this pack of a table and a few chairs. $20 cheaper to be exact. It was only like 30 bucks. You can also get the shrine which spawns uh, the most rare customers in the game and luckily this one doesn't cost Robux but it's still like 10 million game dollars but I'd rather spend that than spend my real life money on it. I don't even want to know how much that would cost in Robux. However, if you still want to buy the royal chairs and table and stuff and you don't want to spend your real life money on it, you can buy it in the marketplace which is gonna be the next thing that we're talking about. When a limited item is finally sold out, those who bought them can put them in the market to sell them for whatever price they want. So you technically can still get the royal set and not have to spend your real life money. But I wouldn't really get your hopes up because the prices in the market is actually insane. So if you still wanna get the royal set without having to spend your real life money, you have to spend at least 100 million cash on each item individually. I am not exaggerating. Literally, the two cheapest royal items that I could find in the market were at least a hundred million. Which is literally, I don't even know how many times the amount that it originally was. Like, you can do the math yourself. I don't want to. I will get a headache if I try to do that. But yeah, the prices in the market in general are extremely ridiculous. Now, we can't fully blame the game for this because the game isn't the one that are setting these prices. It's the people who are selling them. Oh my god. Either Either these kids grinded extremely hard to get these items or they're really just flexing their parents credit card right now. There are very few limited items that have not been sold out yet that are still a really ridiculous price. For example, this golden tray thing is like 2000 robux and this big tip jar is like 800 robux. So in conclusion, if you want to be able to get all the cool items in this game, you either have to spend your entire life grinding on this game to the point where you don't even shower and you smell like poop or you gotta steal your parents credit card. Yes, I know that was a little bit of an exaggeration. So let me put it simple. Either grind your butt off or have money that you can blow. There, I think that sounds better. Like I said in the beginning, you guys are free to disagree on this. Uh, this is all just my opinion and how I personally feel about it, but I know a lot of people feel this way too. Please do not send any hate to the developers of this game or anyone who plays this game. I'm just giving my views on it, and I gotta admit this game is pretty successful, so good on them. You know, if you got an easy way to make money, why not do it? I'm not blaming them. I just think it's a little bit overboard. You know, the game just really doesn't seem new player friendly anymore. I didn't really play for that long, so I consider myself a new player still, and and I can say without a doubt that I'm probably not going to be returning to this game because it just seems like a waste of my time at this point and I really don't want to grind my butt off just to play a game. I know there's going to be people who disagree with this video and they're going to say stuff like, the stuff really isn't that expensive, you're just being nitpicky. Well, my dear friend, it may not be expensive to you, but not all of us have the money that you do. It's just overall really unfair from a new player standpoint. Again, no hate to the game, but that's just how I see it. So yeah, Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think of this in the comments. Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? Do you think it's super expensive? Do you think that it's fine? Just let me know. As always, thank you so much to my patrons, Stork, Havoki, Untitled Citizen, Corp, Warm Freeze, Adam Yes, Sid Poo Poo, Nat, and Amir. Thank you guys so much for the support. I really appreciate it. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!